In this video, we're going to go over 18 dental instrumentation techniques and tips from beginner to advanced in just 12 minutes. I hope you enjoy. So this will be the spring technique and why we use it. So I'm going to overroll. Demonstrate why that's a bad idea. Spring technique. Demonstrate why it's a good idea. So we're going to do this again. Show me the beginning. Show me the ending. Beginning, ending. I'm gonna walk, walk. Straight up and down. The other option is to pivot it in. The other option is to pivot away. We're going to start with the fulcrum. We're going to add the tip. We're going to point out the fulcrum finger, the tip, and go straight through. We're going to go diagonal. Still works very well. We're going to go up in that direction. We're going to go up this way. Show how it doesn't move. And then it works. Okay, take two, motion isolation. So here we are. We're just going to show how to do pivots. And then we're going to show rolling without any pivot. And then we're going to break it down. Rock, down, rock, down. Using that CEJ, rock down, rock, down, roll, pivot, rock, down, roll, pivot, rock, down, roll, pivot, rock, down, roll, pivot, rock, 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 rock. rock. And I think that's good enough. So why do we do this? Because students put too much weight on the tip and it slides all over. So what we're going to do is take the tip off the tooth One more time, sh sharpening the angulation. Bring it up 45 degrees. 
Let's see the shadow. Come all the way here. It's about one o'clock as you close it up. You can really see that shadow disappear. Shadow closed. Shadow closed. Shadow closed. It's a really tight angle. Okay. So this is a little lesson on blade adaptation. So if we start with sickles, because I think that's um, what everybody can agree on. When we scale this guy, the face is at 70 degrees, right? Face is at 90, we close it up a little bit. And that's ideal scaling angulation. If we go back to UC, well, let's try to get that same adaptation. We go 90 degrees to the tooth, we close it up a little bit, and we're scaling away. That's the correct adaptation. The problem is, this is actually the secondary blade, and what is taught is the primary blade. And it's actually pretty hard to get that primary blade with a correct fulcrum to that type of adaptation. I'm going to do traditional sickle. So I start here. This is with a posterior sickle. So I'm going to start a little bit pointed down. As I get here, I'm going to come up, really ride in there, and come underneath. Start with that traditional. I'm gonna tilt it a little, tilt it a lot, tilt it even more. I'm gonna bring it around, go very toe down. Huge pivot. As far as you go, bring it back up. This is really about multi angles. Interproximal, tilt, tilt, tilt. Okay, this is occlusal fulcrums. So have the patient open. Put in your finger for support. And then you're going to do a flip fulcrum on top of it. You can actually get pretty far back. Mm. 
Okay. So here we're going to do a reinforced fulcrum and extra oral. So here, so normally, just up and down, add this, get much better control. You can also do a twist, so up and down, twist, or you're planted. You can also kind of drop down like that. Very similar to an extra oral. I'm going to start here. Keeping tight MPG. I'm going to go to the next tooth. That's it. Okay, this is an opposite arch fulcrum, or cross arch, excuse me. I'm going to start all the way over here. And I'm also going to add this kind of log roll flat fulcrum with a scissored fulcrum. Okay. 